Okay, this is a little tutorial about how you can get started with TypeScript in React. And this is in no way any complete course in TypeScript. I'm just going to scratch the surface of TypeScript to get you going and get started to using it in React. So I've set up this code sandbox where I've created this uh, small React application. I just have a few components here, one banana, strawberry, and one apple, and then a click me button to increase the number here. And I'm going to use this to show how you can type these functions and uh, also how you can type the mouse event here. And also, of course, how to get started. I assume that you use uh, Create React App. And I found this uh, very neat uh, kind of uh, good to have page to go to. They collected yeah, almost anything you need to know for using TypeScript with React. And it's this link up here. I will put it in the text to the video also. So don't worry about that. And if you're using Create React App, you can just add a double dash TypeScript to the end when you create your application, and that will add TypeScript support for your application. So that's great. One thing is that you import React differently in TypeScript, at least in the older versions. You import it like this, and also with the same with the React DOM. But in the later versions of TypeScript, you can import it like default but you have to set this property to true in your TypeScript config. So I'm going to show you how to do that first. That's the allow synthetic default imports, a really short uh, property name, <laughs> not. Um, so let's go back inside of the code sandbox and in the tsconfig.js file, I set this allow synthetic default imports to true. And that will make sure that I can import React just as before and you don't have to import it like this, all right? And as you can see here, I have my four different components here, and we're going to start creating types for these ones. So if we look at this banana, strawberry, and apple, I have this prop that's called text. I'm just setting a text down here, and you can see there's some arrows here now, and this one is just because it wants me to specify the emoji. It wants me to specify it with a role of image and yeah, the area label and stuff like that. I haven't done that now, so that's why we have this. This one is complaining. It wants me to type the style prop here. I haven't done that either, so I'm going to get to that in a second. So that's why it's given us an error here. But we're going to start creating our prop types for this banana, strawberry, and apple. So when you create a type, you can just use the type props. You can call it whatever you want. You could have called it uh, my props. It doesn't matter. And then you just specify your prop here. And you should use lowercasing here. So string with lowercase. And you could also use something that's called an interface. So we could have write it like this instead. That's using an interface instead. But um, yeah, they're almost the same. There are some differences between them. And I won't go into detail on that now because this is just a very, very quick crash course to get you started using TypeScript. But I did a quick Googling on the, the subject, TypeScript uh, versus interface. And uh, yeah, there's a few articles you can read about it. And uh, uh, this one is actually really good. It uh, He explained it really good here and there's also some additional comments down below. I recommend reading this on Pavel Grisbeck something. I don't know how you pronounce this. All right, back inside Code Sandbox. So I'm going to use type for this one, not interface. Okay, so that's our props. But how do we type this uh, functional component? In React, you have something you can use that's called FC or function component. So short for function component is, of course, FC. So I can just comment here, declare function with react.fc, and it's short for react.function component. Like so, after the name of your function, you just have a colon and then react.fc. And this will make sure that we type it as a React functional component. In this case, we also have our props, so it will complain now. We have to give it a type, .fc, and then we have these angled brackets. And inside of here, we can just specify an object, 
and we have the text, and we specify it as a string. So we have successfully typed our string prop, and it won't complain at us anymore. If you have more props here, prop2 number, you can specify it like this. So you just fill this out with different props. There is an easier way of doing this because we have this type up here. So we can just specify this one here. And it will use this type that we created up here. And we can do the same with the strawberry react.fc and angle brackets. And we have props. All right. As you can see, we don't need to type the children. React will give us this automatically when we use react.fc. But we can also type the function without using react.fc. And that's just how you do it in TypeScript without uh, any React stuff. So we have our Apple component. And then the only thing you have to do inside of here where you destructure your prop, you just have a colon and we reference our props here. But if you have children inside of this, you should also declare your type for the children. So this is all you have to do with your function components. I won't show the class components here because to be honest, I don't use class components anymore since the release of hooks. So I'm not showing how to type classes in this tutorial. Okay, but we will have our button component and I have this callback that's called handle click. So we have to type this one also. But first we can type the function itself. So colon and react.fc and angle brackets. And we're going to create some new props for this one. We can call them button props. And we're going to declare the types for the text and the callback. So up here below our type props, we can create an interface for this one. Button props. We're also sending in some styles to this one. If you take a look at it down here at the button. So we have to declare the type for the styles. And how do you do that? Because that is a special type. We have something inside of React that's called CSS properties. We can just set this type on the style CSS properties. So we have the text is going to be a string. Then we have our callback. And we have to declare the types for this callback also. This callback is going to take an event. And this event is going to be a react.mouse event. It's going to return nothing, so we declare it a void. And this is actually enough, but you can also declare it more specifically. So we create angle brackets here, HTML button element. So we're saying that the mouse event should only be valid on button elements. Okay, and as you can see now, it has disappeared here. There's no error here. Of course, we have declared the types for all the props here. And as you can see here, it tells us that this one has an any type. So we can also type declare the event here in the handle click function. And we do that by creating parentheses. And we have the mouse event and the HTML button element and a closing angle bracket. Yeah, we could just type react dot, but we can also import it up here, mouse event, and then we can remove react here, like so. Okay, I think that's it. We have successfully typed declared this application so hopefully this was helpful to you. See you in the next one.